Well, Jerry Sneed made that play that kept the AFC Championship game from becoming very close and very uncertain late. There he is getting things done against the Eagles in the regular season. Franchise tagged by Kansas City. And we knew this was coming. They gave him permission to seek a trade before they even tagged him for crying out loud. The trade is worked out. The Chiefs get the Tennessee Titans 2025 third round pick. There was a swap of seventh round picks in 2024. Sneed will sign a four-year contract with the Titans. Deal will be formalized after Sneed passes a physical. Chiefs get something now and later, not much now, just a swap of seventh round picks now and a third round pick in 2025 for a guy that it looked like they really didn't want to keep. It looked like they just used the franchise tag as a way to be a placeholder so that they could trade him when they otherwise wouldn't have been able to trade him. Yeah, that's right. You know, and I think in their perfect world, they probably wanted a second round pick. It didn't happen. Right. I think that was a lot of the talk. At least I heard behind the scenes. They get the third, right? But I just I think ultimately, like like we talked about at the time, right? They they just they can't pay everybody. That that's the big problem. It's it's Chris Jones, right? I mean, it's Trent McDuffie's awesome. They're gonna have to pay him. They got some young corners coming up the ranks that are damn good, right? Nick Bolton's one of the better middle linebackers in football. They're gonna want to keep him. They're paying a right tackle is like one of the highest paid right tackles in football. Of course, what Mahomes is making and all that. So I think this is one where, yeah, they went, wait, we've drafted well at this position. We can't keep everybody. We like them. We got to move on. And they do that. I and mean, damn, I mean, hell of a move by the Titans. That's what I look at. The Titans, you go, wow, him with Shadobe Awuze and Roger McCreary, a corner right now. I'd go, that's, that's a damn good three. Uh, to to kind of get the Brian Callahan defensive tenure, uh, you know, off to a, a good foot or a good a good what do I want to say? Good step, good note, whatever. There, you got it. Good start. Good, good start. start. I think that's it. Sometimes just keep it simple. Don't try to get flowery, <laughs> or you may end up stepping in something that the dog left behind in the flower patch. I will say this though. Yeah. The third round pick in 2025. Now, depending upon how many true unrestricted free agents they sign, right. and the whole compensatory draft pick formula is a balance of how many you lose versus how many you sign, and there's different things that go into play here. But if they're not going to go out and sign a bunch of true unrestricted free agents and you lose Legereus Sneed, you might get a third-round pick for him anyway next year. Now, that said, getting a third-round compensatory pick at the bottom of the round is different from wherever the Titans may land. Exactly. The Titans may be near the top of round three. We don't know. Right, right. The the only thing that bothers me about this, and there's language in the CBA that says when you apply one of these tenders – you do so with a good faith desire to employ the player for that season at that amount. It's not supposed to be part of a game to get compensation because why not just let the guy become a free agent? Why not let him get paid? Whatever he's getting paid from the Titans now is less than what he would have gotten if he'd have been an unrestricted free agent on day one. But this is why they love the franchise tag, Chris, and this is one of the reasons why it's never going away. Yeah, that, I mean, it, it's it, it is it's it's huge. Yeah, they're not going to let him just leave. And the guy that they hey they drafted, they developed, right, and and they they believe they're a big part of the reason why he's so successful. They're not going to let him just go out scot free or scotch free, whatever one you want to talk about there, right? They're not going to let that happen. They want some sort of compensation. Here come the emails. And, and Who said scotch free <laughs> at 8.46 a.m.? Right. Um, but, but yeah, I, I listen, again, I think it's good business. And, yeah, ultimately, I don't think they wanted to keep him. We know that, right? But if they had to, I, you know, I guess that would be their in good faith. If we get stuck with them and can't find a trade partner, we'll deal with it. But, yeah, I, I mean, we know. And, and of course, That's not fair, and the NFL is not fair that way. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.